Look, can't complain, man. Everything's great. Yeah. I'm Gucci, I'm straight. Nothing but positive five this way. Really just blessed to see another day. God done gave me a whole lot of great. Hello, okay, sorry. She just wants to say hello today. She's been like in every reading. She is so cute. She's been sitting here, like right in my in my um lap. <clears throat> this is Luna Sky. My baby. The universe brought her to me. I've always wanted a little kid. And she came right to my door. Took her to the doctor. Look at the sky blue eyes. And she reminds me of the moon. She reminds me of the moon. Luna. She is so interested to be up here. Okay, yo, Fucus, star seed, and light workers. You are the fifth element. We are the fifth element. Okay, so I've been reading for earth, air, fire, and water. Come on, Luna. Come on, please. Get hurt for me. Come on. See, you're going to hurt yourself. Sit. You got to sit down. Um, And so the Lord was really dealing with me on the fifth element. So I've been studying... I've been studying now, you know, I was into the law of attraction, still studying that, but I've been studying um, the art of Buddha Shuddhi, which is, um, I got this from the Sanskrit channel, the cleansing of all elements, the cleanser of all elements, okay, so, um, So what I was getting, let me put that paper, here it is, okay, so there are five elements, there are earth, air, fire, water, space, okay, so that's scientifically, spiritually I'm getting earth is for the physical, air represents our mental, fire represents our passion, water is our intuition and our spiritual, and space would be love going further earth would be the physical the yin and the yang welcome to the yin yang gang here being a pisces sun normally i go with the flow i decided and said hell no no on my channel i will follow my north node let's go let's get it gangstar tarot welcome to the yin yang gang loving our angels as well as our demons following our north node but not forgetting about our south node um, embracing it, uh, following the law of attraction, which is the battle of the mind, having power over the mind. Okay. Singer, rapper, sound is very, very, very important to us. Us uh, star seeds. <clears throat> There's a prophet, prophetess, light worker in all of us. And uh, space would be the star seed, would be the Buddha Shuti within. This is embodying all the yogic practices, which pretty much is a cleansing of all the uh, spirits, which would make you a divine alchemist. Okay, this is where shadow work is done. Star seeds, we do a lot of shadow work on behalf of ourselves and others. Oh, Fucus, you horny overthinkers, okay? So you can be intense curious, open, passionate, intelligent, love to learn, and jealous. The element has not been assigned until now. I was saying earth, air, fire, water, which is all, because we are space. Space embodies all earth, air, fire, water. Also know, Ophucus, that you are love. In Greek, Ophucus is actually two words, meaning serpent-bearing. Uh, I got this from Astrology 42. In 2016, a change when I was made by NASA. A shift occurred when the Earth tilted on its axis. Um, planets were not assigned, so I assigned you Pluto uh, and the Moon. Okay, Pluto is the god of death. Okay, of the underworld. The god of the underworld. Alrighty, and then star seeds. Uh, shout out to all my Andromedans, uh, Pleiadians, Orion, Arcturians, uh, Sirens, Rainbows. I myself am a Pleiadian cross star seed. That's what I'm identifying with right now. And indigos and everyone in between. Lightworkers, 
seers, dreamers, healers, transmuters. Today for me is Monday the 13th. Sun is in Cancer. The moon is in Taurus. We are currently in a waxing crescent phase at 38% illumination. When the moon is progressing from new to full, that is when it is waxing. What, baby? Um, This is a good time for an attraction of a new job, a new lover, more money. Okay, and we would burn, would want to burn the candle for that day of the week. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and light the candle. And we'll get right into it. So today I had to pull some cards. Uh, please join me on my morning manifesting wake and bake altar call. That is truly where I am pulling my, my north node. Loving on myself, getting my own messages before I come to the, before I intercess on others' behalf. And the spirit told me to share these with you because I am a star seed. And I am the fifth element, as well as you. We are love, representing space. We're from outer space. Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> so we need to give gratitude. And only with gratitude can we truly enjoy abundance. Okay, angle number 23. Gratitude, last quarter moon. And setting boundaries, waning, waxing gibbous. Okay, angle number 12. Putting herself inside of a bubble, setting boundaries, protecting our energy is very important at this time. So the decks that I'm going to be using today is going to be Intuitively with the Less Vampires by Judy Cameron Dish. Artwork by my favorite Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Been loving this deck lately, been wearing it out. Next, I'm going to clarify with The Modern Witch by Lisa Stroll. Okay, and then doing something different today. I'm going to my first tarot deck which is the Beautiful Creatures Tarot, the second edition, which can also be used as an oracle deck. So we're going to do all of our advice at the end, um, reading actual from the book. So I haven't done this since way back in the gap. So we are the Bhutashuti doing dark work, or we are cleansing. We are the cleansers of all the elements. We are the cleansers of the world. We are here to clean up the world, star seeds. Yin, yang, gang. Balance of light and dark. Positive and negative energies. Uh, angels and demons. Balance. Balanced. It's balanced so beautifully. Alrighty. I am a Pisces sun, so I'm always surrounded by my primary element. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Luna. Luna's like, what the fuck? Sorry, Luna. My primary... Oh, she's gone. She don't like water. No, don't leave me. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay. My primary element, which is water. She's like, fuck that. I'm gone. So that's what you'll be hearing is the Tibetan sound. Oh, I love sound, okay? Also, my inner says, well... My spirit will intercess on behalf of our flesh. I'm like the Palo Santo. And we'll get it going. Embodying, I am uh, the Scarlet Raven. Please subscribe. Coming from a space of gratitude. I give thanks and to the Most High God, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are who was, who is, and who is yet to come, the great I am, my Redeemer, my Healer, my Deliverer. I worship you. I humble myself before you, but yet boldly offer you up a sacrifice of praise. Ask me for a word, and that you may be embedded in my belly, so that in due time, and divine time may flow from my my mouth like rivers of living waters. Such an honor it is to be at your feet yet again. Offering myself as a living sacrifice before your throne. Use me as you see fit. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Big brother, Archangel, my calling legions of angels. I'm asking for you to come and cut anything that is not serving my pie. My whole focus, our seats, and light workers. 
angels, guardians of the light, ancestors, ascended masters, I'm calling on you from the north, the south, and east, and the west. On behalf of all elements, earth, air, fire, water, we embody all space. Love. A message for the star seed. Oh, focus on my love. It's to hear the most. And so it is. Luna, I mean, Luna, go away. Okay. All right. Her last day in the light. Unexpected ending. Surprise changes. Sudden shifts. Angel number 10. Love conquers all. Enduring loyalty. Eternal love. Lasting commitment. Angel number 24. And we are love. You are love. Monster within. Eternal struggle. Personal challenge. Waiting to improve. Angel number 25. Death rites. Saying goodbye. Formal, formal occasion. Honoring lies. 11. Immortal. Consuming family pressure of peers. Angel number six. One, one, one. Someone needs to monitor their thoughts. Monitor the way you've been thinking. Negative thinking will produce negative speaking. And if you speak negative into the universe, negativity will return. Definitely seeing a light worker. Love animals, love earth. Love the stars. Love conquers all. The monster within. Someone needs to love their demons. There's an internal struggle, personal challenge, waiting to improve. And you are waiting on yourself. You need to say, I say, I see the old you is dying. There's an old you that is dying. Death rites. You need to say goodbye. This is the formal occasion. Go ahead and dress up. Honoring your life. Your life. Surrounded by death. Maybe someone lost a baby though. I know I did. That's when my spiritual awakening started. I lost a baby. Archangel. Andromeda energy here. Consuming family pressure appears a lot of star seeds. We are immortal. I do see that there is substance abuse here. There's an eternal struggle with the monster within. Maybe drinking. I see someone drinking a lot. Drinking a lot. Um, someone is music musically here. I'm also getting Scorpio energy. Just because of all the wolves. Um, I was doing Taurus, North Node, Scorpio, South Node. And the card that I pulled for Scorpio was the Wolf, the Pathfinder. You can pause and read if you like, but I'm getting a lot of wolves in here, and I don't believe in coincidence. 
definitely getting a Scorpio. If you're a Scorpio watching this, please subscribe. There is healing for you here on my channel. Alrighty, so her last day in the light, the monster within, love conquers all, death rights, any mortal. Why is this here for my Ophuka starseeds and my Ophuka spirit? Please clarify. Kunduria shikile ya yanara basatai. Kunduria kanbari basatai. Ishatalai yule ya yi. Kunduria kunduria shikile ya. Sagittarius energy. Kunduria kinyara basatai. Kunduria shatalai ya ya yi. Kunduria shikile ya. Okay, last day in the light. Unexpected ending. Surprise changes. Sudden shifts. Angel number 10. So I'm seeing surprisingly, maybe you weren't before, but I see surprisingly becoming balanced spiritually, practically. Okay, six of wands due into a relationship. Uh, maybe you have a platform. I'm seeing you getting public recognition due to your passion. Money's looking good. It's a monster within. Okay. Okay, so someone made a judgment and you did improve. There was a judgment that was made and you choose. Yeah, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Alrighty, so I'm seeing that there was a judgment made. A judgment is made within the monsters within. There was an eternal struggle, personal challenge, uh, waiting to improve. Two major arcanas, loving your inner child here. Loving your inner child. Sun card, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Definitely maybe a Sagittarius. <laughs> Okay, love conquers all. So I see with that being made, with every judgment that you made, loving your inner child, you've been enduring, uh, being loyal to love. Um, so some lasting commitment, okay, embodying the empress, the divine feminine right here, turning, when life throws you lemons, you turn it into lemonade. Magician, uh, manifesting, very, 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 very powerful. Okay. The Empress of Light and Dark, positive and negative energies. I'm just saying I am a very powerful manifester. Taurus North Node. Death Rites. Saying goodbye. Formal occasion. Honoring your life. So, I'm seeing maybe somebody's been either... Okay, there's two situations here. So, there's, there's two situations here. So, one situation is that somebody's been partying way, way too much with this Three of Cups, okay? They've been partying way, way too much, and you, you've been in a mental stuck, okay? You need to say goodbye. You need to honor your life. Now, on the other hand, some of you are in a third party, and you don't need to see, and you haven't seen it. You've been feeling it, but you are in a third party, okay? You've been feeling it in your spirit, but your mind is like, no, 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 no. So, there needs to be a new beginning, we need to say goodbye, and we need to move on. Immortal. Consuming family. Uh, pressure of peers. This is doing with the lover. Gemini energy in the house. We've got the lovers upright. Um, needing to make an ultimatum. And I'm feeling like you did. Overall, embodying the chariot. Bad bitch, here we are. Yin yang gang. Okay, the sun, the moon, dark, light. Positive, negative, there you are with your crown of royal blood. I'm just saying I'm the royal messenger. Come on now. Embodying the chariot, needing to put things into movement. Being balanced. We can't be balanced if we're drinking. Beautiful. Beautiful. Overall advice. Overall advice, spirit. I mean, a lot of major arcanas here. 
becoming a lot of beautiful. We've got the sun upright. But you made a decision to love your inner child. Okay. Embodying the Empress. Magician. Come on now. Manifesting. Lovers, you made some kind of there was an ultimatum ultimately embodying the chair. Do you see this? I mean, come on now. You are the fifth element. We are the fifth element. You just need to be able to see and quit partying. Trying to get out of your mind. Trying to get out of your your thoughts. Fumble occasion. Start dressing up. Honor your life. Honor yourself. Feeling depressed. Civilian depression energy. Somebody with that monster within. A lot of drinking. Staying up late at night. Not getting sleep. Mourning over death. Pathfinder. Finding your true life's path. Really following your life. Definitely going to get public recognition. Okay. And there's unexpected changes. Now, if you are already getting a lot of recognition, I do see that this, that there will be a sudden shift to that. So it can go one, one way or the other. Okay. Nine of Cups. Spirit said take it. Nine of Cups satisfaction this is ultimate wish fulfilling fulfillment okay so two of pinnacles yeah ultimate wish fulfilling is being your ultimate wish fulfillment is be balanced spiritually and practically welcome to gangstar tarot yin yang gang because you will find that here and getting public recognition for your gifts that would be you satisfied that is ultimate wish fulfillment and i do see that coming within the cards oh, okay this one was turned over. So we do have angel number 11, the justice equality, along with the judgment and the sun, the monsters within. So the spirit has been seeing the internal struggle and the personal challenge. And you've been waiting on deliverance. And I do see that coming through for you. Good job, we'll focus our seed and light workers. We've been we've been doing a lot of hard work within this awakening, haven't we? Balance, falling in love, equality, loving yourself equally. Loving, being fair, and also being, protecting yourself, letting your yays be yays and your nays be nays, setting boundaries. That's what I get too. That bubble that she has with her little crystal ball, setting boundaries. Setting boundaries, okay? Setting boundaries. You made a judgment um, to embrace the monster within, to love the inner child as well as your demon. And you're improving day by day. And you realize that love conquers all. And you're manifesting coming from a space of love. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Two of swords. So there, I'm really feeling like there's been some, some confusion on what you should be like. Am I the empress? Am I the magician? Am I the empress? Am I a magician? Am I the empress? Am I a magician? And you are all. You are both. Maybe there's two specific things mentally. There's been a battle in the mind mentally trying to figure out. But love conquers all in doing internal love and lasting commitment. Just stay committed and it will come. Believe in divine timing, Spirit says. Believe in divine timing. Okay, I see for some of you that money is off right now. So the death rites, over partying, eight of swords. Um, again, there was this third trine. There was this um, third party could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, but money is off. One of Pentacles in reverse. And I do too, I do believe that it is due to partying so much. Um, as well as the Queen of Cups intuition. Look at me so reading. I'm supposed to be doing this into I mean, as an oracle card. Ten of Wands, hardship. Okay. So the only hardship that you're having, so Queen of Cups, energy, cancer. Your intuition is off. You are immortal. You are um, from outer space. <laughs> but the only reason why your intuition, the only reason why you're having a hardship is because of this dependency, this codependency, this habit, okay? The personal struggle, the monster within. Okay. 
all raw advice. Definitely a third party here. Again, with the Three of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Getting that upside down and right side up. There's a celebration. People are partying way too much. Yeah. Yeah, this is your lover. There's a third party. This is a third party. Um, could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, but definitely within this relationship, uh, this is a, a relationship. There's definitely a third party. Oh, I could be the bearer of bad news. Maybe you know if you're if you're a, if you're a star seed, a focus light worker. Yeah, you are the one. You are definitely authentic. Hiding a mat, putting a mask on, pretending. Sometimes we pretend like everything is good, and it's not good. Needing to be authentic. Getting into a lot of threes. I'm gonna say angel number three, three, three. Ascended masters are near smile. That's beautiful. That's what three, three, three means. It's just ascended masters near smile. Okay. Overall advice, spirit. I didn't mean to do that last part, but I guess hey, I needed to hear that. I don't know. I meant to just pull one card. Wow. Okay, so so I'm getting that using your third eye, using your intuition, we get angel number 16, the decadence, something is going to end abruptly, unexpected ending, surprise changes, something's going to happen abrupt. Use your psychic intuition. Use your intuition, okay? Overall embodying the Page of Pentacles for reliability. So we'll read this one. Page of Pentacles. Court cards. Okay, and she was right side up. Let's see what the fairy has to say. I used the ability to calm all things that are chaotic. Reliability. A brunette-haired nymph stands behind hemlocks that provide her with stability. These flowers have a white yet yellow tone to them, and entwined with her dark hair, her olive skin tone is a representation that she was born from and out of the earth, giving her the ability to protect and make things stable for the planet. When you need for things to run smoothly, slowly, at a natural pace, she will give you her flowers to help you. The Page of Pentacles governs all that is solid and stable. It builds, rebuilds, and hardens your ambitions. When a foundation seems loose and unreliable, this page will see to it that everything turns to concrete and is secure. The Page of Pentacles associated with the planet Earth, where all living things reside. Those who do not know how to handle a pinnacle page are like to remain stuck in a rock. Yeah, don't stay stuck. Don't stay stuck. Okay. Don't stay stuck in this third-party relationship or don't stay stuck uh, partying too much, okay? Or you're going to be getting your death rights. Somebody will be reading you your death rights. Or if you're mourning over the death of someone, say goodbye, formal location. Maybe there's a funeral. If you're going to be attending a funeral and honoring someone, please go ahead and subscribe. All right. The archetype, the Page of Pentacles, denotes a person who is stable and secure, reliable, and has a trustworthy demeanor. Their persona, persona, and attitude are concrete, and they pave the way for anyone. Like those walking down a path in the park, they can help someone out by keeping them grounded and stable. They often like to help those who are having hard times doing for themselves. On the negative side, the Page of Pentacles may also be a person who is stubborn and unreliable. You may Never see a favor or a donation out of goodwill. They are stingy and will make any lame excuse not to share 
what they will have with you or anyone else. They are hard-headed and they do things when they feel like it. They are known to procrastinate heavily. Okay, the situation, the Page of Pentacles represents a situation where you may not want to start looking for reliable things in life, such as people. You may want to start looking for reliable things in life, such as people and careers. Look for people you trust. Conduct research into someone that you find trustworthy for careers. Learn to be patient and carry things on a steady way. On the negative side, avoid people in situations that will limit or slow you down. Try not to feel envy for others who are more successful than you. This will do more harm than good. So I'm really embodying that we um, we are in getting the situation out of that card. Um, just learning to be more stable and reliable on ourselves and not looking to the world for acceptance. Um, I'm really feeling like this is an earth sign that is... Um, can be a uh, negative stubborn and unreliable and stingy been definitely dealing with someone who's stingy i don't like to share the drugs this is going to end abruptly stability will come page of pentacles the magician and the empress all together right here beautiful beautiful read all right, oh, focused our seeds and light workers. Just remember, you are the fifth element. Steady Buddha Shuti, the cleansing of all elements. That's what you were created for. Um, to do shadow work and light work, um, positive and negative, to embrace angels and demons. You have to listen to them both. Okay, love you. I love you, Yin Yang Gang. Go back to doing your thing. I already know that a nigga out you getting to the paper. Yeah, I'm getting to the paper. Bunch of blue Benjamin Franklins with the big faces. And a whole lot of layers. Yeah, I'ma chase them. You can say the hustle in my nature. G certified money maker.